What up, it's Cam, and welcome back to another Wednesday, and it is reacting video time today. Uh, I'm not going to do, you know, the standard, you know, reacting to the tech talk. Today it's going to be different. I am going to react to Family Guy's most dark human moments ever. I cannot wait to watch it because <coughs> Family Guy is just fucking hilarious. And the, the dark jokes they come the dark jukes? Jukes. The dark jokes they come up with is so funny, and I cannot wait to react to some of these because I I'd be crying. They're so fucking good. And also, I'm gonna snack while I watch these because I'm hungry. Okay, let's jump right in. I mean, I'm gonna laugh anyways because it's Family Guy. They're amazing. Just as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! <sighs> Alright, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. Hey, Meg, come here. Have a seat. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck, which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember <laughs> until you're 40. <laughs> Meg, come back here! <laughs> I meant sex! What do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser-Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord. Save them. Bless their li Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right. Everything worked out. Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something because... Well, if I don't, there's two guys who are going to tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh, my God, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but will you... You're gonna die alone, you dick. I have not seen that episode. <laughs> Family Feud. How are you, Betsy? Oh, Welcome no. to the show. You are a lovely young woman. And let me just get my hand up there and feel that one. And that one. And we're looking for something you shop for at the mall. Three seconds. I wonder what happened to Cindy. <laughs> Dear Diary. Jackpot! I lost my job, <laughs> I lost my house, my wife left me for a bigger cock. You get five minutes to say goodbye to your father. Sir Bernie. Holy moly, that's a huge cock. <laughs> oh man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, Something that might be a roll aid. I don't know. It's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer. I have some stamps. Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Now, Meg, in order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Oh. Hey, there. hey, nice spot, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great. Especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow. I could go for some corn. <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. Sorry if some of these are really bad quality. It's just the episodes. Oh my god. Okay, you're good to go. Oh Guys, my god. <laughs> I know this has been a long voyage. Half of us have died of starvation. We all saw Billy rot out from the stomach. We saw Roger's face get eaten by a seagull. And who could forget when Dave's bum sealed shut until he filled with poo and died. But it's all going to be worth it. Trust me. Because the spices here are amazing. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. <laughs> We'll go celebrate at the clan. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think we could all use a drink. Tell you oh, what, let me call fuck. Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Oh. 
Okay, now did you just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This group oh, needs quagmire. Oh, fucking hell. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. All right, let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. Our mattress still has the chalk outline from where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Well, I flipped it over. I love Peter. I'd follow him anywhere. Except onto an elevator. He fat, man. Oh, Lois, I'm so glad you're here. I really need to pee. Go ahead. I'll handle the kids. No, you need to come with me. The toilets are all, like, one foot off the ground, so I need to hold on to your arm while I lower myself down. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You there, mailman! Me? No, the other black guy in shorts. Yes, you. Here. Well, you, sir, are a racist, and a rude one at that. So, you're not a mailman? Okay, yes, I am a mailman, but these are my 1983 Maurice Cheeks shorts. Well, may not be that bad, Lois. I could see about getting back my old job as a police sketch artist. Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five 5'10". Five Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but, but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any... Any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? <laughs> Can this day get any more stressful? <laughs> it's showtime at the pump. What? I'm tired. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's a black show. What, I can't be tired at one in the morning? <laughs> Lord, I'm gonna tell you. Being a slave is a much worse job than the temp agency made it sound. You gonna eat all that possum? I am. I'm a runaway slave. I'm running away because people want me to wear shoes and comb my hair. So I guess we got the exact same problem. Didn't kill anybody! Oh my god! Is this what black people see all the time? What? You guys know each other? Know each other? Peter Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? Can I? Oh my you? god. <laughs> Doing my mail route, Joe. Maybe you'd be more comfortable talking about it down at the station. You're right. It is more comfortable here. The police station. Come for the racial profiling. Stay for the comfort. We gotta find someone who works here. Can I help you, sir? Sorry, all I got is a quarter, pal. Oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, uh, my buddy my here is looking for a computer. Fucking days. I would like to elect you president. Hey, you all remember the plan. <laughs> Walk up wearing our Bill Cosby masks. Peter, that's President Obama. Oh, did I just do a racism? Well, at least I didn't get robbed. And what can I do for you four fine black gentlemen today? On your marks, <laughs> get set, white guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. <laughs> I mean, what kind of a man would I be if I ran off now? Well, you'd be a black man. Wow! Wow! <laughs> whoa! What was that? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was my father talking. You, uh... Oh, gotta work fucking on that hell. Man. Bad dog. We're at an impasse. How do you propose we settle this? We have fight, but I pick venue. Deal. Round one, fight! I know! I know! I see it! Oh, you can't! Get back up again! Oh, ho, 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 ho! You lose! What? Say the word? 
Right now? Yeah. Together. Ready? You bet. <gasps> you could have just quit the show. We're not the first people to be dragged <laughs> off against our will. <laughs> Are we there yet? Oh, I know exactly what yet? they said. No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. <laughs> that works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute! <laughs> Damn, Nature, you scary. On BET. Damn, that motherfucker run fast. You see that shit? That thing come by my house, I kill it. I'm no different than my peers. Rosa Parks, Nelson Mandela, Dr. Martin Luther King. Hey, did you ever notice he has the names Doc and Marty in his name? Let it go. Hello, Twitter. And I have to move out again. Little. There wasn't this much tension when the slaves were freed. Uh, okay, so, uh, you're free to go. But we're cool, right? Oh, God, this fool. Please don't free the slaves. It's a bad idea. They'll try to get back at us, and that's our biggest fear. Ah, jail isn't prison. God. Prison is big and scary. Uh, jail is just a sleeping deputy with keys that can be grabbed by a long broom handle or a mischievous dog. Do black people ever go to jail? No, they go to prison. Oh, Jerome, the place looks great. <laughs> yeah, look at you owning a bar. You guys are doing pretty good. First you get to run Somalia, now this. Hey, there's some guys sitting in our booth. Maybe we should tell them it's our booth. Uh-huh. Or we could just sit on the floor next to these garbage cans. <laughs> Alright, here's one. So, a horse walks into a bar and the bartender says, Why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious! Hey, screw you. Whoa! What the hell's your problem? You're my problem, dude. That joke is offensive. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry that not everyone conforms to your preconceived notions of attractiveness. It's a joke, man. Oh, oh yeah? Oh, it's a joke? How about this? Why are there so few black baseball players? Why? Because they're always stealing bases. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my hey, God. now that is offensive. <laughs> yeah, what the hell, man? Hey, it's a joke, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's racist. Oh, the horse with the long face. <laughs> that's a racist joke, huh? Yeah, that's different. Oh, yeah? How's it different? Hey, why do you have so many drinks and you haven't touched any of them? Uh, hello, Einstein. Hooves. No freaking thumbs. Can't pick up a glass. Well, then why are you in a bar? Bite me, that's why, douchebag. Look, look, I think we all got off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, well, you got that right. We're sorry, okay? All right, me too. Look, I'm Mike, and this is Harry. Sarah Jessica Parker. We now return to cutting in line in front of Italians. Hey! 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 hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Why don't you navigate yourself to the back of the line with your feet and stand there with your shirt? All right, and guys, I am gonna end it there. Oh my god, that Family Guy has no chill whatsoever. I'm surprised it has not been like taken off air or anything because their dark humor, they, they 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 have no chill. They have no chill. It's so fucking funny. I love it so much. Not saying I love dark humor. It's just the way Family Guy do it is so funny. And there's like loads of these Family Guy uh, dark humor videos, so we have got a lot to react to. So, if you guys enjoyed to me reacting to Family Guy's dark humor, please like and subscribe. It was so funny. I fucking love Family I watch Family Guy almost every single day, and every time I see a dark humor joke, it just makes me laugh, because the way, the way they do it is so funny. Okay, so um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.